What are you hearing about sort of the difference in, in the changes at the top here uh, with Josh today? It really goes back to what happened a few months ago, Taylor. If you remember, Apollo, for the longest time for its 30-year existence, has really been associated with Leon Black. But he has faced incredible scrutiny over the last one year, especially for the $158 million he paid to uh, the convicted sex offender uh, Jeffrey Epstein, who killed himself. And while ostensibly that money was for tax, uh, tax services and estate planning, uh, that scrutiny did lead to him having to leave his role as CEO of Apollo. But what, has, what that has resulted in is a little bit of a succession battle where you had Mark Rowan, who seemed to be on his way out of Apollo, was in this semi-sabbatical mode. And for all money, it looked like Josh Harris is the one who would take over as the leader of the firm. But because of what was perceived as his role in pushing Leon Blackheart. We've had this little battle where Mark Rowan is back fully in charge and Josh Harris seems to be shunted aside. Sri, we have slightly poor quality on your line, so if you, if you know there's a perfect spot within your apartment to stand, go stand in it now. But I, I'm interested in sort of Josh Harris, the reaction to his sidelining. There's some amazing details within your story, which is a great read, talking about how they were humming certain songs from The Wizard of Oz. Just tell us what Apollo workers feel about this. <laughs> Look, uh, Apollo's always been known for its uh, bare-knuckle, uh, hard-charging culture. So it, it's not a surprise when you have uh, some certain cliques develop in an organization like that and uh, strong feelings develop. And uh, there certainly seems to have been a great sort of reaction to uh, Josh Harris's sidelining inside the firm. Because when Leon Black was CEO, even then, the day-to-day -day operation of the firm was being run by Josh Harris. And I really want to just step back for a second here. For a lot of the listeners in our audience, it would seem like, why do we need to care about the intricacies of the battles between the top one, two, or three executives at a firm like Apollo? You have to remember, it is a $455 billion investing juggernaut. So the people in charge of the firm and the future direction it takes affects a wide swath of finance.